Hello and welcome to One North Main, BCA's magazine show where we highlight the people, places and events that make this city, our city great. People, places and events, we have all three today for a special episode. It's outside Brockton, here at Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School, but it has a Brockton connection. Southeastern Regional has more than 60% of their student body that lives in Brockton. It's a special place and today they have their open house. We're going to follow Mark Lindy, Brockton Community Access's general manager and also a Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School school committee member for a number of years. So sit back and relax and see what your community, the City of Champions, has to offer. <laughs> Theme this year is Southeastern Works, and uh, and what we really want want uh, uh, you to, to learn more about is the school and how it works and and why it works for so many students and so many kids in our nine communities. Southeastern works for everyone. It, it really does. We have a little bit of everything here. You know, whether it's sports, whether it's music, whether it's carpentry, whether it's dentistry, we can expose you to it and, uh, and make you think about it, and, uh, and that's why it works. I love everything about this job. From the minute you walk in the door to the minute I leave for the night or check my email at home, there's always something exciting, fun. I feel like I can help people solve problems, and I like that they help me become a better administrator through my working with them. What I enjoy most about my role at Southeastern is being a part of helping young people have opportunities. We aren't just preparing them to be students from one side of a desk to another. At our school, we're preparing them to be real people who work in a world where you need skills. Vocational education nationwide, in particular in Massachusetts, is kind of going through this renaissance period where people are seeing that it is the preferred and most successful method of teaching kids at the high school level. I love the amount of technology that we have here at Southeastern. My classroom is equipped with a smart board, all my students have Chromebooks, and so being able to incorporate technology into my teaching on a daily basis not only makes it easier for me, but it's something that the kids really enjoy. My favorite thing about Southeastern is probably the sense of community you get at this school. What I've seen with the students at least is that they, they don't join together by cliques necessarily. They get together by shops, so there's really you no know, cliques at the school. You get this huge sense of community and that everyone is involved at the school, whenever you're walking around the school as well. We are able to provide real life experience by working in their vocational programs. So that enables our students to be better prepared for the workforce. The most rewarding aspect of early education and care is really working hands-on with the children. Being an early ed instructor, I feel I have the best of both worlds because we work with the high school students, but I also get to work with the preschool children and see them work hands-on and learn and grow together. My favorite thing about Southeastern is uh, just the possibilities that it offers our students. And I'm always uh, personally excited to see how many different opportunities that they have to explore and you know, where they want to go in life. Part of the education that we're giving them here is how to use technology properly. And by having computers in the classroom and by showing them the different ways that they can use technology, we're giving them the skills that they're going to need to succeed. We offer a comprehensive athletic program, boys and girls sports from the varsity level down to the freshman level. Um, and I think one of the biggest things that um, people don't understand is the facilities that we offer. Beautiful stadium, brand new gym. One of the things we do really well here is we provide students with direction and purpose.
So we're here at Southeastern Regional on Open House Day, uh, November 15th, 2014. Uh, what are people going to see? They're going to see us in operation. They're going to see our shops. They're going to have some free food. They're going to learn about all the career paths that we offer here. Um, they're going to collect some trading cards, get some uh, free giveaways. They're going to see an airbag demonstration of how that works. Um, all kinds of things. Now, this is a lot of work. This is a total team effort. All the teachers and support staff, administrators and everything. What does it take to put this on? It takes a lot. Um, you got to clean the building up beautifully. Um, the students are here, so we have about 50 students that volunteered to come in and give tours. Um, we've decorated all the bulletin boards around the school so that you can see some of the uh, projects and things that our students work on all year. Um, again, we set up all the demonstrations. There's advertising that goes with it. There's, uh, we have video stations set up at um, interviews throughout the, uh, throughout the school so they can scan a card and learn mm -hmm. about that career area. So there's a lot that goes into this. Now that's all high tech, that's new. You get the, the old fashioned card, but you get the, the QRC QR, code, is that QR right? code, yep. QR, QR code. code, I was close. Yep. Well, QRC, QR okay. code, you okay. got okay. it. Okay, I was, uh, okay, pretty yeah. good. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I just noticed going around while people were, we were setting up while people were, you know, preparing mm. to, to come in and everything. What's the best thing about Southeastern, from your point of view? The people. It's such a great collection of people. We have people from all walks of life, uh, teachers that have been in industry, teachers that are academically inclined. We get kids from the city, we get kids from the suburbs. It's one big, giant melting pot, and I love everything about it. Okay, we're here on Southeastern's BioBus. Tell, tell me your name. Hi, I'm Megan Lombard. I'm a senior here in the environmental shop. Okay, so tell us, uh, you, this, this is exciting. I, I watched this whole bio bus get put together a couple of years ago. What's special about it? What do you like? Well, we, it's a traveling classroom where we take it to schools around New England, and it's to t teach other people about how to protect the environment like, and stuff like that. Now, how'd you get interested in protecting the environment? Why, why, you're a senior, so you've been in this program a few years. What do you like about it? Well, I, more, I'm like an animal lover, so I came in here thinking that I'll learn a lot about animals. And through the years, I've learned more other stuff like, that I actually really liked that I didn't expect. Like habitats? For like animals. habitats. I also learned about water, like in marine biology, which I'm going to go into college for. Mm -hmm. And then like, we learn about soil, all different types of things. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, 12 student-built roller coasters uh, completed over the course of about a month-long time. Uh, the students had to t keep track of overall budgets. They had to work within parameters. Uh, each roller coaster has to have at least six turns, at least one loop, and there has to uh, also include some form of theming. For example, uh, one of the parameters they have to, uh, the height has to be between 30 centimeters and 100, and the track length has to be at least 150 centimeters. At the end, they then have to use a piece of string or ruler, tape measure, etc., in order to get the overall length of the track and then figure out and calculate the velocity because part of the things that they're being voted on and uh, graded on is excitement, build quality, amongst other things. What's the best thing about being a teacher here at Southeastern? You know, one of, one of the best things I've found here, and I've taught at three schools when I did my student teaching in New Hampshire and then I came here, um, whether it's the faculty or the students, there's such a wonderful collection of people, of personalities, um, like no other place I've ever been to in my life. And this school embraces those things about uh, embraces those things about every teacher, about every student, and allows them to, uh, you know, just flourish and allows them to succeed. And I, I've never seen that anywhere else. And I have so much joy working here. Now, is your did you ever have a concept that at a vocational school you would have drama? No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I, I I'm, I'm not afraid to say I, I came from a traditional high school. I came from Norwell High School in Massachusetts, and. Um, when I came here, uh, you know, one of the best things about coming here, and, I, and I'm not going to, like, dance around the issue, is, you know, Dave Wheeler from day one has been so supportive of the arts here at the school, and we have what we have because we had an administration that was so willing to champion not just the vocational elements, but the performing arts elements as well, 
and I never thought we would get what we have now. I mean, I was just happy when we had, you know, 910 drama with little cheap cardboard sets. But now that we have, um, you know, this expensive lighting package and uh, an entire theater educational program, I, I am so elated at what they've done here, and I'm just so happy for what the school has allowed us to do for the kids. Uh, so this game is called Fractured Fairy Tale. Uh, I'm going to have you guys perform. Bro, I didn't know we had a. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm going to have you guys perform. Um, yeah, Rumpel Stiltskin. Rumpel Stiltskin. Except because we don't have all day, I'm going to have you guys do it in 60 seconds. My, the time is on the clock. Go. If only I had a child. Can I be your dad? I mean, son. <laughs> no. You can't be my son. You're a woman. But what you can do, how would you like to be queen? Yo! <coughs> oh, I... Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to marry the king. I'll make it happen, don't worry. But what happens after you marry the king, what? when you guys get a baby, oh. I get it. Okay, you can go marry Carrie him. Carrie Cooper, who is our drama teacher. Carrie, we just saw the improv. You proud of your kids? Absolutely. I pride myself on training them in improvisation so that they can handle themselves in any situation, can be heard clearly, and know how to move their bodies in space so that they can give a presentation, even if it's theater or not, anywhere at any time. And lastly, anything that I didn't ask you that you might want to add? I think South Southeastern Regional is the best school, especially for um, for freedom, for um, academic growth, for anything that the students want to do that they're interested in. We take the interest and we run with it. And they run with it. And we applaud that. We applaud the creativity and the um, ingenuity and anything that they want to do at Southeastern they can do. And it's a wonderful, wonderful experience for anyone, especially those that love performing arts. I'm here with uh, Lou Lopes, uh, superintendent of schools for Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. Lou, uh, different new things this year. What's what's new about the open house? Yeah, uh, well, I think what's new this year is is really our theme all around Southeastern Works and, and how Southeastern Works uh, for all students and uh, and how it's just such a viable option for kids um, that you know that high school age students who are who are looking to go. And again, it's what we're finding is is that. Um, uh, well, we've known this, but what people are discovering is it works for students who, who are very career focused and, and have, you know, have a specific career that they want to get into, that, um, that they're going to come here, learn that trade, and then go on directly into the workforce. But it's also very successful for kids who want to, want to go on to higher education and go to college, and, and particularly in the engineering fields and so forth, where there's a huge, um, there's a huge need for those careers, and mm -hmm. it's one of the highest dropout rates in college. And so what we do here is we give them the pre-engineering skills, all those kinds of things they need, so that when they go into college, they go into these four-year universities, they have a leg up on everyone else, and they're very successful. Now, we have a very low dropout rate. We're also, congratulations to you and the staff on being a level one school. That's, that's a hard thing to do in this day and yeah. age. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, we're very happy to be designated as a level one school, which, you know, it looks at, uh, to get, in order to get level one status, it's not just your academic achievement, although that's a big part of it. Uh, and we excelled there. In fact, we, 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 we beat the state average in English language arts for the second year in a row. Um, but they also look at growth. They look at the kids coming in and, and how we can narrow, um, narrow the gap, the learning gap that they have there. And, and we're well above, uh, in fact, we're probably the second or third highest school district in the state in terms of student growth. Um, and, and I think one of the keys for that is, is, is we apply their learning. And so they, they start to see relevance. Uh, you mentioned dropout rate. That's another factor that, that guy's a level one status. Our dropout rate is under 2%. I believe it's 1.9 mm -hmm. uh, this past year. Um, and then the final is graduation rate. We have a very high graduation rate. Um, and, uh, and, and again, you know, uh, having 1,400 students coming from nine different communities, 
uh, including the city of Brockton, uh, over 60% of our students are on free and reduced lunch, yet uh, they're achieving at a very high level, which is exciting. And we have different things here at a vocational school that aren't traditional. Do you want to tell us about any of those programs? Sure, sure. Well, you know, everyone, when they think of vocational education, they think of, you know, your traditional automotive, carpentry, electrical, machine, and so forth. And we have all those programs. They're all thriving. They're all very popular and very successful. And there's some great careers in those areas. But then we've also branched out to engineering, to uh, legal protective services, which, which touches on all the bases around security and surveillance and criminal justice and forensic science and so forth. We have an environmental biotechnology program. Uh, biotechnology and life sciences, I was at a meeting yesterday, they're saying it's the second largest growing industry um, in, in Massachusetts. And Massachusetts has the highest biotechnology sector in the world. Uh, so we have to train these kids for that. Uh, we also are very excited that we're the only vocational school that offers a full four-year uh, uh, arts program, performing arts, music, not just the the design, you know, and desktop publishing stuff, but we have we have music, we have we have a great theater program, we have video editing, video production, doing a lot of things that you do on your show, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful because the kids can kind of explore what they like to do. And, and do that, you know, on a daily basis. And then co-op. We have co-op where kids can get out and get a real, besides the, the real world training here, they can get a real world experience actually working at jobs. You want to talk about that? Sure, thing? sure. So cooperative education is uh, they can start that in the, in the middle of their junior year for students who have demonstrated that they have the skills and the knowledge, the basic skills and the knowledge uh, in their particular career field. Uh, the employers are actually hiring them and paying them during their vocational week, which is when they have their traditional vocational um, program, shop programs, the, they, they call them, um, um, they, uh, they go out and they work for those, for those employers and, uh, and they get paid. In fact, last year uh, we had over 84 students on co-op co and they earned collectively over $600,000. Uh, that's mm -hmm. money, that, that's their money, it helps support their families, sustain them, and it kind of help us defray some of the college costs if they're going to college. And if they're going right into work, they get, they get that year and a half jump. Uh, this year, we're going we're gonna to blow that number out of the water. We're, we're, we're about two, three times where we were last year on co-op. So, um, in fact, we have more and more employers trying to hire our kids and we just don't have enough kids mm -hmm. uh, to fill those jobs. So, so I think that's a good sign for the economy particularly in like the construction, electrical, plumbing trades. Uh, you know, you, we're seeing a growth in that because people are coming in saying, do you have anyone? Mm -hmm. We want to hire them right, at, you know, right out of your school. Um, so, uh, you know, so that's, that's wonderful, you know. And, and then we also have our post-secondary program that has a great placement rate, you know. Mr. Deegan, someplace around here, we'll find him, we'll he catch is, up with he him. He is, he is, That's the hidden gem in the school. Not a lot of, everyone knows about our high school and so forth. Very few people know about a post-secondary school, uh, we, we, you know, which is, which is very successful. Um, has a uh, graduation rate, again, over, over 70, 80 percent. Uh, placement rate, people who, who get the certificate, get the degree, um, over 90 percent of them are, are employed within six months. That, that's really amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, fully accredited Pell Grant student loans, uh, over 90% of the students in our, um, in our post-secondary programs get financial aid. And the school committee just, just two nights ago voted to, see, to allow us to, to uh, award associates degrees. There's mm -hmm. a process we have to follow through, but uh, we're uh, applying with the Board of Higher Education, so I, I, I firmly believe that within the next year or so, we're going to be able to award associate degree programs. Mark Lindy here at Southeastern Regional Open House, and we did not want to forget the Technical Institute, which is our evening program, and with me is Dave Deegan. Dave, uh, what's new at the TI? Well, we have two brand new programs. We started a, an adult culinary program in September, and we're rolling out our brand new cosmetology program in March. So we're very excited on both. Mark Lindy, I'm here with Sandy Slattery, who is the president of the Southeastern Regional Alumni Association. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. Okay, Sandy, tell us uh, why, why your group is so important to our school. We take um, care of and keep in contact with all the alumni and the graduates of Southeastern. Our database right now is over 10,000 people that we're trying to keep um, in contact with for reunions, for the open house, we have an annual bike run and other activities that benefit not only the students here but also all the alumni. 
Now tell us about the reunions. You do something a little different. I think you combine, is it five classes? We actually combine all the, they call them the um, reunions on the fives. So it's all the classes that would be together. So if it was this year's reunion was all the ones that ended in fours. So any fours or nine. So if you were 94, 84, 89, 99, all of the classes that would have any five year, 10 year, 15 year, we did all at the same time at the Holiday Inn in, Brock, in Taunton. Um, had a great time. Everybody's there. They get discounted rooms and also it, it lowers the price of the actual reunion because we have so many people show up. Look at all the, we have a whole stack of yearbooks on the front of this table, um, you know, all the different years. Um, people like to go back and reminisce and look at that, but you told me something exciting that you're doing with the yearbooks. Uh, somebody from school had just contacted me today, and they're going to digitize all the yearbooks. She was actually missing four of them, and I'm going to loan her our copies so she can get them digitized, and then we'll be able to access them from our website as well to be able to see all of the yearbooks over the years. Our oldest is actually 1969 and we have all the way till 2014. Tell us what we have here. Oh, well, this is a little crime team that we have over here. As you can see, it's the cupcake over there, a little bit of a death by chocolate. Um, Mark down all the evidence, see if there's any DNA that we can scrub off of this. Uh, like of the chair over there, say if you put your fingerprint like on a surface like over here, like for five seconds, so we can grab that little powder, that little red powder. These are for like if you saw it in the cafeteria, like we can rub it down, see who whose fingerprint it is, you know, all that good stuff. We can put it in the national database, see if this person, whoever killed this person, was like a, a serial murderer. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. so when you decided to come to Southeastern, did you think you'd be doing this? Is this something that you had an interest in already? Oh, I've been trying to get in here since like seventh grade. For your arrest, ma'am, I need you to stand up and face the wall. Put your hands on top of your head and interlock your fingers. Separate your feet from me, ma'am, and then forward slightly. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Oh, you have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. All right, bring a hand behind your back. The reason that we have red guns is that if, for instance, she takes this gun out right now, what she's doing, and she points the gun at me, like she's going to do, and a police officer walked in the school, they would know that this is a training gun and not something that, you know, would cause damage. Criminal justice is a relatively new program here at the school. It's been about five years. And um, I would say that anybody who had any interest in pursuing either law or the enforcement of law or anybody that may have an interest in doing things like um, investigation, crime investigation, we want to come here at Southeast, and it's a great program. Um, as you know, in the country now, we're spending over $4 trillion a year in money for protection services. The protective field is going to be, in the next 10 years, probably the most profitable firm where there's going to be the most jobs. And here at Southeastern, we offer the students the ability to learn here and to continue learning as the um, mission statement is of the school. I encourage students who may have an interest in any type of criminal work, criminal justice work, whether it be legal, whether it be investigation, whether it be crime investigation, to really think about the school because it is a great program and we look forward to having people come here. We're here in the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School Media Center, and uh, this is one of my favorite parts of the school. How do you like uh, working in this new environment? Oh, it's, it's so awesome. Um, it's so big. It's so welcoming to students, and they love it. They use it all the time. It's just great. We were fortunate enough while, uh, while it was getting built before they had the counter in that the students made and the books and the technology. We had a couple of school committee meetings in here. Um, what do the kids like about it? How's that? Um, I think, well, they like the chairs that we're sitting in right now. Um, I think in the old media center we only had two tables, so I think that they really like the fact that we have lots of spaces for them to carve out little spaces that they can sit in. Um, and I think that they just, 
I mean, it looks so much nicer than the old library. They, they, they just love it. They think it's great, and they come in in droves. Well, it's nice and open and airy and everything like that. The colors, presentation screens, and the technology. How many computers are over there? It's, um, there's 32 in the main area, and there's four off to the side, and they get used very well here. Yeah. Dave Joseph, I'm a guidance counselor at Southeastern. So what are we doing here? Guidance is in the library, in the media center. We're in the media center. We're doing online applications. It's our first time doing it for uh, the eighth grade students. We're also doing presentations for the parents and just how to, how to apply and what we're looking for acceptance. What's the response been so far today? Uh, Superintendent Lopes told us he thinks we get like 3,000 people going through the school. <laughs> I don't know about 3,000, but we've been we've been in here. 90% um, of the computers have been full all day, mm -hmm. so we've been doing well. Dan, tell us what's going on at Southeastern Ath Athletics. We've had a great season this fall. Yeah, we have. Uh, highlighted by uh, the football program is um, we're currently eight and two right now. Hopefully, uh, tying the uh, record for most wins in a single season by uh, a southeastern team going into Thanksgiving. So hopefully, we can get that ninth win and uh, have some nice taste in turkey again this year. I've talked to a lot of people here today at the open house, and um, you know the, the biggest thing for me is you know two things. We have a great group of kids right now. All the kids that are involved in our stuff, it's, it's so much fun to work with them. And on top of that, it's it's uh, the staff. You know, we've, we've got uh, very low turnover as far as coaches go, and we, uh, we've been all working together for years now, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun working with these guys. Well, there you have it, Brockton. Another one North Main in the books. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned a little bit more about Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. It's a fine school. We'd like to thank the uh, administrators and the staff for making our experience something else. To learn more about Southeastern Regional, please visit their website, sers.org. And to learn more about Brockton Community Access, please visit our website at bcatv.org. You can also check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton channels, all one word. For everyone at One North Main, I'm Jay Miller. We'll see you around town.